What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another Icon to review and it is going to be mid Rio Ferdinand. Now his pace, he's defending and his physicals are all looking really nice. It's just the dribbling and the passing is looking terrible. 64 dribbling and 65 passing. Yeah, it looks like we are going to have to keep it very simple with Rio Ferdinand when it comes down to those two stats. You're not going to be able to go for these quick twists and turns. You're not going to be able to play those overtop through balls down the line because most likely they aren't going to work out. Now, we all know why I'm doing this review. He just came out in Icon Swap. He's worth seven tokens. At the end of this, I will be telling you guys if he is actually worth the seven tokens. Now, he is a six foot two player, which means that reach in that center back position is actually really nice. We would have preferred medium high work rates, but we can definitely deal with medium medium. He has got three star skill moves and he has got a three star weak foot. Now, when it comes down to that chem style, the chem style, there's only one really. There really is. Like Shadow Chem style is screaming out to this card. He needs the extra pace to catch up the players like Mbappe, to catch up the players like Neymar. So you might as well just hit him with a Shadow Chem style. So you get so you uh have 80 acceleration and 91 sprint speed on the card now obviously the shadow chem style doesn't just boost out pace does it it also boosts out defending stats so the defending stats are looking like some of the best defending stats i've ever seen in this game like 99 interceptions with 90 heading accuracy 94 defensive awareness 99 standing tackling with 99 slide tackling we can all tell by looking at those stats he is probably going to put in one hell of a tackle. Now, his physicals, they don't really need upgrading. And that is why I've gone, obviously, for the Shadow Chem Soul. Not even touching the physicals because 85 strength and 85 aggression is more than enough for a centre-back. Now, he's dribbling and passing with a team. Hmm. Yeah. You're like, there's not much to say, is there? Like, the dribbling ability, 88 reactions, 90 composure. Very nice. Very nice on the centre-back. It's just 61 agility, 57 balance, 52 dribbling. If he feels good on the ball in game, I'll be very, very surprised. And his passing ability as well, 74 long passing, 78 short passing with 57 vision. Keep it simple. That's what I'm going to do. I'll tr maybe try to go for an overtop through ball just to see if it's actually going to work out. But I really, really doubt it. Now, the links, English. And obviously, he's an icon. So he links up with whoever you want. The links are simply, simply unbelievable. There's only going to be one position that we're going to be playing him in, and it is going to be that centre-back position in a 4-4-2 formation. So let's get into the games. He's 100% going to play that into the middle. There you go, man. Rio Ferdinand just going over, playing a nice interception. I'm seeing how he's trying, like, you know, how he feels on the ball. And uh, yeah, it's slow. It is very, very slow. Like, I'm trying to turn quick there, but he's just taking his time. I kind of want to push out towards him, but I reckon, yeah, he's going to try to go for that finish shot. We do a really nice step there, and Rio does put in a very good tackle. I, I can tell, yeah, he's not going to be that guy that can twist and turn, 100%. Like, I'm trying I'm trying to force out a nice dribble from him, but it's just not working out. And I've red-timed that, and we've missed. We won't talk about that. I'm going to push out here. Maybe he's going to try to go for a turn, and he tried it. Rio Ferdinand recovered pretty well there because I did push him back slightly, thinking he was going to get past me, and he did put in a very good tackle. Let's see how good his heading ability is. I want to hit him towards a near post just to see if he's actually going to win this header. He's six foot two. He has got some decent jumping as well, but he ended up losing that one. I did feel like, though, that wasn't the, that wasn't the greatest of crosses, and we tried to green time a... Uh, a finesse shot there but it didn't really work out but look at Rio right there he's running back into position and that's exactly what I want to see I want to push out with him slightly here going for that slide tackle and look at that for a slide tackle man nice Rio get that well played just run forward with him slightly keep it going there you go man using that strength imagine this ball actually works it's worked it's somehow what I mean it was going off but Gilson's done so well to actually keep it onto the pitch and I tried to give it to Mbappe there but he gets intercepted Push out to him again. Oh, okay. Cover back to him. You see his transition speed? Like, you see how fast he is going left and right? And that is a very good slide tackle. EA. I was about to say, man. How are we not coming out with this ball? Push out. There you go. Come on, Rio. Get into him. There you go. Nice tackle. Keep it going. Keep it going. There you go, Rio. Come on, man. Keep it going. No, I thought I could go for like a little run with him there. <laughs> I, was, I was being too ambitious. Actually, he's got the ball. Oh, one dribble. Decent. Just play it simple. We don't want to overcomplicate it because I know we're going to lose the ball. Let's test out his heading ability. Let's see if he's actually going to win this one. This is against, I believe that's Kunde. Yeah, it is Kunde. Come on. Rio, you're against Kunde. He's literally like five foot 11. You're six foot two. Who's the goalkeeper? Who? Nah. 
Who's the goalkeeper? That literally went straight down the middle. I thought, oh, okay. Easy save for the keeper. And that's gone in. I mean, I'll take it. Let's see if we can go for the switch I play here. Just go for an L. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to tell you guys right now, that was literally full power. Like, I put everything, everything into that. And it literally just went into the middle of the park. Like, I thought we was about to get some decent passing behind. But, yeah, no, clearly not. He's going to want to go through all this. He's going to play it. He isn't going to play. I'm going to step now. There you go, man. Really good step from Rio. Nice pace to get out to him as well. And a really good tackle. We got a free kick on the edge of the box. 19 yards out. Hold up a second. Rio Ferdinand stepping up to the plate. Where is he? Hold up. 32 free kick accuracy. You know what? Why not? We might as well give it a go. Go on, Rio. Green timed. For a second there, it looked like it was about to dip. And it just, it just continued going up. Slide tackle that Rio. Nice. Last ditch slide tackle straight into the player. If he didn't actually put in that slide tackle, I think we would have conceded. Push out slightly towards him, man. He went for that fake shot. And Rio Ferdinand is not going to get done with a simple fake shot. But I need to play it simple. You see those like weird 180 turns? I'm telling you guys, like the drilling ability, I can guarantee you, tell you guys that like, it's not great. It just straight up isn't. You have to keep it so simple with him. Otherwise, you are going to lose the ball in a terrible area. Guy's coming straight at me, man. I'm just going to slide tackle that. Rio Ferdinand, man. I'm telling you guys, the slide tackling ability, it's there. Can I play that pass as well? Not actually a too bad of a pass. He's going to want to pass that back up. And I've actually brought Rio over. But he's recovered. He's put in a tackle. He's pushed for Kier slightly off the ball as well. So it allows me just to come out of it nicely. He could push that in behind. Rio Ferdinand, I need you, bro. There you go. Nice. Good shielding ability. Well played, man. Just to keep it calm. And that was him actually tracking it. His defensive awareness was already tracking it. All I needed to do was obviously switch to him last second and actually get in front of the player. He's going to throw all that. He wants to throw all that. There you go. We stepped up with Rio. We've got the ball. Nice shielding again. And just play a simple pass to your boy Hakimi. Keep it very simple. No need to overdo it. He's going to want that ball to Benzema. 100% he wants that ball to Benzema. Once again, man, stepping out of Rio. Shielding off the play a little bit and just going for an RBA. I didn't really need the shield in that kind of area, but why not just show off his strength a little bit, you know? I'm not going to be able to catch up to him. I literally need to select Rio here so I can just bring him over so he can put in that kind of tackle. I thought he did send me. I did not expect him to turn up, but Rio's transi transition speed was fast enough to allow him to get there. Come on. I'm not sure who you actually up. Is that Casemiro? That might be Casemiro. I'm not 100%. Let's hit it towards the near post, though. And let's see what he could possibly do. Come on, Rio. That's actually pretty open. And that all came down to me aiming it wrong. He's done so well to get in front of the player. Obviously, when the header is just my accuracy of the actual header wasn't the greatest. I'm going to hit it towards the near post again. Come on, Rio. You've done so well to win these headers. And that is open again. And there you go, man. Our second goal. That was literally open. open. There was no one. No one at all near him. I don't know why he's getting left that open. He's going to 100% try the through wall Benzema here, man. There you go. Rio's held him off as well. Go for a ball roll there. Just take my time and go for that switch or play. Having the pace to catch up to someone like flashback Benzema and obviously having the strength to be able to hold him off as well. So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games of Rio Ferdinand. We scored two goals and apparently we came out with a yellow card, which I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember. Either way though, two goals in four games, both being headers, it just shows you that this guy is not just going to be a player that is going to be like putting in tackles and stuff like that. He will also give you a really nice heading ability. We have to keep in mind, he's a six foot two player with nice jumping and really good heading accuracy. So he will challenge players like Kempembe, Marquinhos for headers. He will beat players like Kunde and Alaba for headers, but he will definitely lose against Sule, Showdown Sule, and a Showdown PK for headers. I really can't see him with 82 jumping beating those kind of players. But yeah, players like Kempembe and Marquinhos, which you're most likely are going to match, he will challenge him, really, really challenge him for the header, which is always going to be enjoyable to see. Now, I would say the most standout thing about the card is the defending ability. No doubt about it. Like the interceptions, incredible. The defensive awareness, incredible. Stand attacking, slide tackling. It was enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. Probably one of the best defending abilities I have seen in this game. It's better than the Kempembe's and it is better than a gold Marquinhos as well. So yeah, it definitely is up there. It's just, I noticed his dribbling ability, terrible. Just straight up terrible. Passing ability, not great at all. Like, He's just one of those players that you have to keep it so simple with. It's honestly annoying in some occasions because there is going to be some occasions with your centre-back. You are forced to try to turn with him, right? 
and with Rio Ferdinand, it's just not possible. He takes way too long. You're going to end up losing the ball in a stupid, stupid area and you will end up conceding. So that is something I really didn't like about the card. I feel like the transition speed felt really nice. Like he was getting out to player really quickly. He was going left and right quite clean as well. The pace catching up to players wasn't an issue with him. Now, would I take him over a player like Kempembe? No, I wouldn't. I do believe Kempembe is better than this Rio Ferdinand card. So that comes back to my question. Do I believe he is worth the seven tokens he is currently going for? Honestly, seven tokens isn't bad. It honestly isn't. It's just when you can get a player like Kempembe for literally under 10,000 coins, I don't really see a need of spending seven token icon swap tokens on a Rio Ferdinand card, the mid Rio Ferdinand card. I really don't see the point. So yeah, I personally do not believe it is worth it. Now, where would I put him if he was included in the defenders tier list? I would say he doesn't go S, but he definitely goes into the 80 without a doubt. It's just, I feel like he needs to have a little bit better dribbling and maybe a little bit better passing. Like the passing is not that big of a deal, honestly. Like the passing, it is what it is. It's just the dribbling ability. I can't stand it being that bad. I really can't. So yeah, an A tier for my boy, Rio Ferdinand. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.